Ladies and gentlemen. Gentlemen and ladies. Ladies and gents. It's my third time having to do this video. And I blame it on Teddy. Seen so many things. But none quite as lovely as you. Teddy Pendergrass, ladies and gentlemen. Then a Mona Lisa. Worth more than gold. Then my eyes had the pleasure to behold. You're my latest. And as I've done in the other two videos, I have to cut him off. Because once he gets to, you inspired me, inspired me. Don't you know it? My latest, my greatest inspiration. You just keep on lifting me up now. See, once we get there, I go there. And <laughs> there can't be a video with all of that. The first thing I need to do is I need to let you know that there was a gentleman who called from New York and I played the, I let the call play on video while he called. Uh, I won't be doing that in the future, but I let it play and I was going to let that video go up, but I ended up hitting the button for stop. You see where my mouse is right now, right here? I hit that button twice. When you do it twice, it starts another video and it overrides the previous video. It takes right over it. Now, I, I have it that way on purpose. But I've been doing that lately and having to redo videos. Lord have mercy. So uh, we're just going to talk about the same things I was talking about in the other video. Because there are stuff you need to know. So this is the Eon Foundation. The Eon Foundation, there are three Eon Foundations, ladies and gentlemen. Three Eon Foundations. Because we ain't no joke. I used to let the mic smoke, but now I throw it down to make sure it's broke. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the reason why there are three Eon Foundations... It's because one's a sole proprietor, one is a nonprofit religious faith-based organization, and the other, pay attention, ladies and gentlemen, is a INC, incorporation. Those three Eon Foundations serve three purposes. Ain't that something? Now, what I want to do right here is this is Panda. Panda, Panda antivirus. I only use it for 30 days. Okay? I only use it for 30 days. You see, it completed. So now, oh, it ain't completed. Oh, now it completed. And it says it detected no threats. No threats. Now that's four antiviruses on this computer at one time. You're not supposed to do it. Why not? Because they, 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 they dead. They, they is dead. They, they. They're day they what? What they, they do? Well, you tell day, they to go sit it down. Okay? Day Day. Hear what Day Day said? They said, they said, they said, they said, they said nothing. They said tomorrow is all they said. See, day, tomorrow. <laughs> okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen. The Eon Foundation conducted arbitrations. The Eon Foundation has a limited power of attorney with certain clients. It conducted arbitrations because it's part of the arbitration agreement and it did so on behalf of the clients these are the amounts for the awards that were issued the eon foundation charges thirty four hundred dollars per arbitration and the party who is in default to the arbitration this is what they have to pay okay this must have been a me minor arbitration right here because that's unusual and i can't do anything about it because the arbitrators are independent so i don't know what that case was what the issue was because i just got this today this is the invoice for all of the arbitrations okay this is the total amount for the arbitrations okay 230 million dollars okay the eon foundation pay attention is all this much. This is the automatic credits, 1099Cs and everything already being done. Okay? However, this was done last year, not this year. All of these arbitrations were conducted last year. 
think the month of November. And with that being the case, they're reported on this tax season. If you pay attention, and I know some of y'all ain't been paying much attention because you don't know, oh, the invoice was sent to these companies on the, at this time. So the debt was created last year, the invoice was sent at this time. See, the person who we have doing this is very, very faithful in their job, and they did all of this mathematics, and they get paid for it. Now, by the way, none of our clients paid for the arbitration. Shh, shh, shh. They didn't even pay for the application because this wasn't done by our clients. This was done by the Eon Foundation. The Eon Foundation paid for everything. But y'all don't hear me, though. The clients will reap the benefits of the arbitration. Oh, sorry. The Eon Foundation was also a party to the arbitration. Say what? The Eon Foundation, the sole proprietorship, was also a party to the arbitration. Oh, no, 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 no. See, the Eon Foundation hired arbitrators, independent arbitrators, to arbitrate. Subcontractors, they could not be from the Eon Foundation because that would deal with impropriety because I don't operate that way. These were independent individuals who volunteered, did not know whom they were doing an arbitration with or anything, and were given specific instructions that they could not, as you saw with that one arbitration, they could not show favoritism for one side or the other or even for me. I could not participate in the process under any circumstances. I had nothing to do with this or the amounts that are listed here. Okay, not a thing. Had nothing to do with me. However, the fact is, the courts were coming up with a, what's the word for it? They were coming up with a roadblock. They were allowing companies to sue the Arbitration Association. And then claiming that the Arbitration Association needed to be represented by an attorney and then blocking all documents and paperwork after that. Okay, well, block me, mother. <clears throat> because this is the sole proprietorship. I can represent the Arbitration Association because it's mine. So let's go. That's why we did it under the sole proprietorship. They want to play, I want to play. So we have we can go after the award anytime we want. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's been over 90 days. <laughs> oh, you didn't understand? Yeah, you, I just had to wait 90 days. They've already, the other side already received a copy of the award. That was sent out to them way back. Okay? And nobody has contested the award. We had a bunch of attorneys sending letters and everything, but the attorneys were told explicitly and specifically that they needed to provide proof of representation, power of attorney. Don't just sit up here writing and saying that you represent somebody. No, no, that's not how life works. If you represent a party, we I am not a court. The arbitrators are not courts in a sense that you are recognized as representing a party under a presumption. Oh, no, no, no. You represented somebody? Well, send us a power of attorney. Send us proof of your representation or you have no standing. Literally, that simple. So the other party elected not to participate. They were served notification, but they never responded. The attorney did. They never said, hey, we letting such and such represent us, and here is our signature signed by a notary, which is what was required. And because they didn't do that, oh, well. Again, one second, y'all. It's getting toasty in here. I got to turn that heat off. 73 degrees. Uh-uh. It's getting toasty. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't play these games with them. I'm not going to play these games with them, as I told everybody, and their grandfather, and their grandmother, and their granduncle. It's time for me, pay attention, to start letting them know that I ain't got time. They want to play? Well, let's go. Because I'm willing to do what Jeffrey Osborne said. I'm willing to go all the way. To take it all the way, to go all the way. Now, ladies and gentlemen, 
I want y'all to do yourselves a favor. This is called Major Geeks. As you see, it had antiviruses. Now it's got all-in-one tweaks. Okay, God mode. <laughs> I want to be a god. No, I don't. Yes, you... No, I don't. Sorry. God mode. This allows you to change all kind of stuff on your computer. Okay? And so on and so forth and on and on and on. As a matter of fact, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do this when we're out here. This is freeware. Because it's free. It's free. And I'm going to do 64 bit because I've got bit 64 times. That's right. My computer keeps biting. 64 times, y'all. Okay. Now, let's get rid of that. Bye bye. Oh, you ain't finished? Go on now. I said, go on. Oh, oh it don't want to go, y'all. Look at that. It ain't finished. All right, we'll just let it sit there then. All right, so this is called Major Geeks. Major Geeks. Major Geeks. G E E K S dot com. What well, software, ladies and gentlemen? Okay, hey, 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 hey. I've already checked them out, but y'all need to check them out to see if they're trustworthy, okay? Don't just take my word for it, okay? Lord has mercy. All right, now that's two things that we've talked about. <sighs> We got one more thing to talk about. Give me one second. I have to pause y'all for a second because I got to go someplace. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Bit Shoot Eon channel. Every video that's on YouTube is here. Eventually, we're going to start just publishing videos solely for this channel because we don't need YouTube. Okay, uh, that's supposed to be eight. Eon channels. <laughs> so, and it's in that, that was a typo that was on YouTube that I corrected later and it never updated. So, I, I'm not worried about that right now, okay? Sometimes y'all gonna get it, sometimes y'all not gonna get it, okay? But I just want to do you all a favor. I've been finding out that a lot of people have been reposting my videos and I'm really appreciative of that and they're getting more views on those other platforms than YouTube is indicating on YouTube's platform so thank you because the information is for the people not for me I already know the information because you know what you make life a joy to me live and I'm thankful and I'm grateful just to know you. Told you that was going to happen. I told y'all I can't play Teddy. Lord have mercy. And the latest, greatest inspiration. Y'all know I can't play that song. Ladies and gentlemen, just before we conclude this video, I want to talk to you about this young man right here. The man behind the largest soilless farm in Nigeria. The man behind the largest soilless farm in Nigeria. One second. Now I can't hear him, but y'all are able to hear him. Hold seeds. on, Teddy. Seeds that are bigger than orange seeds. The banana we eat today is an hybrid. That's why if you check your banana, you know. Wait, did y'all know that? Hold on one second, youngster. Did y'all know that? That bananas used to have seeds in them? Say what? Bananas used to have seeds in them. Nah, yes they did. Bananas used to have seeds in them. Notice mm -mm 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 -mm. there is one small line with those tiny, tiny dots used to be big, big seeds. There is a high level of misinformation of what organic is in Nigeria. A lot of things that we consume are hybrid. We Hold on, ladies and gentlemen. This young man right here. He goes ahead and lets you know the difference between just do not know hybrid marketers know that and organic. Say these are hybrid, be like, ah, because there is a difference, and most people real, don't know not. the difference. So this video is incredible. And they think that hybrid means GMO. Hybrid does not mean GMO, and that's what he explains. So take the time to listen to the young man. I'm certain. I'm certain that you will learn something, especially about the lame 
soil. L O A M Y. Lome soil. That's the soilless, soilless farming that he's talking about, growing it in lame soil. Now hold on, watch this so that we can get it, get it, get it right. Because I may not be spelling it right. L O A M Y S O I L. Tick tock, tick tock. No, lame soil generally contains nutrients, so it is lame soil. Oh, he calls it lame because he's it's African. He's Nigerian. Okay, you can buy it at Home Depot, ladies and gentlemen. You can buy it at Lowe's. Lame soil, lame soil. This is what you want. And a 40-pound bag, look at that. Oh, you better believe I'm getting ready to go buy me some soil. If I didn't have things to do today, I'd go do it today, but it's going to be next week. Be well, probably before the rain. Because we, according to my weather map app, we have four days. Four. Number four. We have four days of rain. Ain't that something? Four days. Four days of rain, y'all. Four. That's this California. It don't rain in Southern California. You know, that's what they tell me. Okay, let's see. What What's the rain? Day? Yep, four days. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Four days of rain. That means that my generator going to get a workout. So I got to go and check the uh, oil in the generator because I haven't checked it in a while. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you guys to understand about the soil that we're talking about. Don't look at those soils. Those soils have all kind of other junk added to it. You want the loam soil. You don't want that stuff. You want loam soil. Where is it? I don't see it. I don't want top soil. I want loam soil. So that's what it did. Let's do this. We're going to, where to buy loam soil, okay? So I don't know if these are loam soils because I don't see loam soil on any of it. I see top soil, but I don't see loam soil. Now, it does say Home Depot. Really? What city is that in? Ladies and gentlemen, 212. <laughs> oh, uh, it's, it's the <laughs> GPS. Uh, not GPS, but the uh, VPN. Because I'm like, what city? What addresses are those? Because I ain't driving all the way over there. That's Oh, Walmart got it too, y'all. Walmart got loam soil. Okay, Walmart got loam soil. So I guess they call it topsoil, but loam soil. There you go. So I would stick with the 40-pound bags and not with the quartz because they got 40-pound bags, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, 40 pound bags. What's what's this one? What's the poundage on this bag? Uh-oh. The more I enlarge it, the more it ain't telling me. So the the information is supposed to be off to the side here, but it ain't telling me. Let's see. What's we got here? Nope. Just says the cubic feet. I don't want the cubic feet. I want the poundage. See, they're doing cubic feet, and they're doing that on purpose, and most people don't understand why companies do that. Companies do that so that they can hook, line, and sinker you. Have you coming in there and then saying, oh, it's not what I wanted, and I don't feel like driving all the way over to blah, 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 blah. <sighs> 24 pounds, so it ain't the one you want. You want 40 pounds, okay? You want 40 pounds. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, watch the video with the young man. I guarantee you, you will be impressed. I guarantee you, you will appreciate the conversation that he has in this video. The man behind the largest soilless farm in Nigeria. Just type it in YouTube, and what you're doing is you're going to the video where you see him kneeling down right here. That's the correct video. I got to move this over a little bit, so y'all excuse me for a second. All right. Yeah, it's too wide. It can't be that wide. I, I need to be able to see the edges. As the edges turn, there we go. All right. With that being said, it's time for me to let you guys get back to your lives. Okay. It is. It's an interesting Saturday. 
Take care of yourselves, guys. We'll talk soon.